Hi, I'm Keegan, and this is A Bunch of Gamers. This is our 15th episode of Werewolf the Apocalypse. I'm going to go around the table and have my players introduce themselves. Brennan was not able to make it today. He had to do some work stuff, so he will miss his last guest star role for a little while. And Lexi is busy, and Riley is unfortunately not feeling too well. So, let's go around. Hi, I'm Sam. I play Cora. She's an Arun in the Geta Fenris in Garu Society. She's known as Two Hearts. I am Tyler, and I play Kyle. He's 18, a Philodox, and has found his purpose with the Garu. He's known as Guards the Low, Child of Gaia. I'm Adam. I play the character Mark Bishop. He is a third in the tribe of Children of Gaia, and he in Garu Society, he's known as Guides the Fallen. All right, so last time you guys kind of went on a bender with the Bonars for their... We did. (laughs) For the first half of their moot. You now gather in the Sept of the Green and the Umbra as the the Bonars and their guests begin trading stories and things like that before you hear a howl echo over you as one of the Bonars seems to speak up. She is a... Younger woman, looking to be about in her mid-twenties, raggedy as such as the... and sun-seared, likely from a life on the street. As she goes, I found a woman and had her join us. Her situation was dire and shows how the worm infects everything and every facet of Hamid culture in some ways. For her husband had cancer and he was slowly dying. They spent all the money they could, but it didn't help, and he passed. The medical bills drove her out of her apartment and sent her onto the streets. It, she has not found much kindness and works out of her car. She's trying, but she never had a good relationship with her family, and her parents are too wrapped up in their own poverty to get her out. As another one speaks up, he's a, once again, a little older, maybe 33, 34, looking man. He's about, he's also got the same sort of raggedy appearance, though his denim seems a little better and the plaid suggests a more rural upbringing, and goes, I spoke with a young man who came to the city to follow his dreams. He believed the old phrase, if you make it here, you can make it anywhere. Ah, after some bad luck finding a job and some mistakes, paying for luxuries rather than the essentials every now and then as the stress got to him and he simply couldn't think rationally anymore. He lost his apartment. He still works at the same job, though he has to drive out of the city every day because of zoning laws, and then drive all the way back, spending all of his money on gas. He's trying to return to his home state for his parent to live with his parents again, but he doesn't have enough money and he uses so much of it on gas and a gym membership to take showers for his work. He his family once again, much like the Galliard over there said, is not wealthy enough to bail him out, or they won't. He seems to think that they're simply too poor, but you can tell that there's a crack in his voice when he speaks. Steven steps up and pats, guards the low on his back as he goes. We found an old man. He retired. However, his prices have been increasing. His retirement, his retirement was enough. The return on bonds just slowing down, and social security is just not keeping up. He didn't have a great job. Now he's stuck. His family gone. He never he lost contact with them long ago. His wife had passed some time ago. So now he jumps from shelter to shelter, and he fears he won't make another winter. Someone else speaks up um, and says, We met a young woman. She came here. She was happy. She's been doing quite well for herself, jumping around, having fun, living the New York experience. That she loves the culture of this place, to see so many different people with so many different backgrounds meshing together and coming together. And that is a true truism. It is the wild at work in this weaver's den, as things mix and change and come together. When oil meets water and they truly mix against all logic. And they stay together. I'll speak up, guys the fawn. I'll say, 
I met a community of humans in a neighborhood today. I was able to get to know tr a true hardship for a, a people, not only just because they were human and down on their luck, but because of their skin color. These, these people felt systematically taken advantage of and systematically pushed aside from society, that they are truly at a disadvantage just because of what they look like. But what I saw was still a community a, a family of different families that came together to try to get through this struggle together, truly forming what we would call a tribe. Um. <clears throat> and I'll speak up. I spoke with a man named Carl. We talked about how difficult his job as an assembly worker has been recently, but how much he appreciates it compared to the life he used to live as an addict. However, as he ages, the damage that both the work and the drugs have done to him are taking its toll, and he's worried he won't be able to keep that job any longer, and that he'll fall back into his old ways. As you just hear this solemn howl. Uh, I'll speak up. Um, I met a na man named Curtis. He was getting on in years, and he, he was actually invited um, here for a drink. Um, his kids moved away from the city, and though he tried his best to do better for them. Um, he has lost contact with mu much of them, uh, though he is closest with his son in LA. Um, he feels guilty because he wasn't able to provide um, very much for them and that they went hungry sometimes. And he's just, he's feeling down on his luck. Another one speaks up and talks about some others that they met, as you start hearing these stories back and forth, successes, failures, hopes, dreams, as the night continues on, as there's just this sort of communion almost with the human condition, as the Bonars see it. And many continue to call it the wild within the weaver, that despite all the constraints of the city, there are still wild places. After a while though, you hear a solemn howl that goes over. It's sad. And everything starts to quiet down. As he stands up and talks about how he worked with a spirit throughout the city, a great rat spirit, that gave him information that fought beside him, that was almost like a second totem, and that they were murdered by Banes in a recent exploit. It is then that another speaks up, and she speaks about how her packmate shielded her with their body as a first team began to spray them with silver bullets. They ripped through his body, but she was unharmed, allowing her and her pack to get away. Roger Troubleseeker steps up as he goes, I would like to speak about our packmate, Crimson Shame. Adrian Thurge, the tribe Fiana of the Final Howl. He had lost himself. Gone so far, you might say, that he might as well have been dead. Not, not to the worm, but to idle fan fantasy. Fantasies that drive many into Harano. The endless sadness that can consume the heart of any Garu. We tried to pull him out. We took our friends, the Firestarters, with us. As he continued to dabble with this spirit family he created. Well, the worm tracked us down, and we were under attack. Shane could have continued to live in his fan fantasy, maybe even live happily in it, but he saw that we were in trouble, and he fought and died to make sure we could get away. He was a true friend, one who stood with us, even to the end, and that he won't see this pact's purpose complete. You hear others talk of kin who were killed, some in car crashes, some in Pentex schemes. More continue to talk as it continues on. You hear others talk about old, old friends. Some who were lost long before. Some who say that they, this is the second moot that their packmates would have missed, and it hurts them deeply, as it's a reminder that they won't be able to celebrate like this with them ever again. Agatha gives out a howl and speaks about how several kin and Garu of the rabble died defending the Sept not too long ago from a Bane incursion with spirals attacking. That 
they made sure that the sept did not fall and that Central Park would not become a trash heap under the guise of nature. It is... Uh, Guides the Fallen will let loose a solemn hell as well. I wish to speak about my pack during our rites of passage. I'm the only sole survivor of that rite. I mourn their deaths as it was a horrible, horrible Pentax uh, trap that was set for us. We were told that we were going to be help preserve uh, endangered species in the wild, and it turned out to be a false, a false claim. And during our flight, my packmates were mowed down and killed. Later, I tried to return to find bodies, but I was only to find only a, only a couple. And I did my best to guide them into the next to the next life after this. I still mourn for them, and I wish I could have found the other bodies, but I feel I have failed them by not returning soon enough. I feel I failed them by not saving them. And several howls. Some more start talking about their pack mates as well. One recalls a pup they tried to save after their first change when spirals came. They remember the boy and his screams as they dragged him away to a fate worse than death. That he failed the pup, and he allowed a new enemy to rise. The howls start to continue as it, it gets out, as they, all the Garu seem to be shrieking out their pain, collective pain, to the heavens. And stays quiet for just a few moments when the moot begins to begin again in earnest. Kor, you, thanks to the shouting out of these two, recognize your two companions speaking their stories as they were separated from you Mm -hmm. during the night of, or during the event of drinking just earlier tonight. Mm. I'll make my way over to them. All right. Hey. Hey. How have you been, two hearts? I haven't seen you in a good bit. A couple days. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) A lot of drinking. Oh, yeah. (laughs) And it sucks you missed the, the, uh, the beat down in the alley. Beat down in the alley? The beat down in the alley. It was oh. so good. Whoa, what happened? Uh, we had a beat down in the alley. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, uh, we were getting rid of some, some gang members nearby. Oh, okay. It's pretty good. Um, pretty much taking claim of territory Wormherder. for the set. Yeah, Worm Herder uh, mm. was, was there helping us. It's pretty fun. Um, more like uh, making sure the the area was safe for for the mm. kin folk and stuff as we went bar hopping. Okay, it was it's pretty good. Nice, it was pretty good. Should have been there. Yeah, guards the low and I did a bunch of bar hopping. Yeah, yeah, that's what yeah. that's what we were doing. <clears throat> we went with your uh, friend. What was his name? Stephen. Stephen Townhall. Stephen Townhall. Oh, Town you, went, you found Townhall. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, good. Didn't really separate from him. Oh, it's been a while. Yeah, Steve that's comes fair. up. Hey. Hey, see? <laughs> Steven, speak hey. of the devil. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I wanted to let you guys know that we do miss you. Like, we can't wait for you to come home. It'll be nice to see you all. Um, that means a lot. That means um, a lot. <laughs> we, uh, I also don't uh, blame you for uh, doing some more traveling, though. We, we, we would probably travel more if uh, some of my pack mates weren't tied down by SEP duties. But... It'll be nice for you to come home at least to visit. Yeah. Traveling is is good. Um, I, for one, miss home a lot. <laughs> Do you? Yeah, I gotcha. Yes. <laughs> it's nice to have a place to go back to. That's true. That's true. As you hear in the distance, she is made greater in her tribe, her sept, and among the people everywhere. Let it be known. As you hear howls, uh, recognizing renowns. Yes. Um, we might need to jump in on oh, that. Oh, yeah, I need to jump in on that. <laughs> yeah, I have a wisdom I need to be jump, to jump in on. Oh, yeah, I, I have full wisdom, so... Yeah, so you don't want to do the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Steven, it was great seeing you again. I had a blast last night. Yeah, time. me too. Oh, it was oh. absolutely wonderful. Yeah, like, no, absolutely. I had a lot of fun. Oh, definitely. So, Sounds like you hopefully, you, we, uh, hopefully you, got, you get a pathway into my sept. Oh, yeah. that, that would be great. <laughs> That would be great. I I feel really at home here. It's great. 
Cool. Yeah, this isn't our sept. Uh, yeah. I'm, from, I'm from their sept. Yeah, yeah. he's oh. he's from where we are from. No, I know you guys are from Colorado, but we're mm. in Colorado. Like you'll have uh, to get a you'll have to get a, a chance uh, to come in. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's a need to know. It's a need to know of. kind okay. of thing. Need to know, but okay, I get. Especially you. with the yeah, need to know. Okay. Yep. Oops. Though, just if it comes up again in front of other people that we trust less, we're just going to say Denver. Just oh, okay. So you're aware. Everyone knows about that sept already. So. Oh, okay. Okay. <clears throat> As you see Agatha giving the rights mm-hmm. to another. Well, we've got a. I've got some rights to get, or yeah. some renown to be. As uh, you go up to Agatha. Yeah. Yes, child. Um. You ask. Oh right, right. right. Um, be recognized. Agatha, uh, would you please recognize my, my, my renown? Sure, as she starts talking and the spirits come to her, she speaks of the plans you've made, the spirits you've spoken to, the path since the umber you understood. Oh yeah, that's every die is a success. Oh, every die but one. Nice. As she goes through the uh, formality as she finally goes. Um, ah, here we are. Let it be known, or she is made greater in her tribe, her sept, greater among the people everywhere. Let this be known. Is there the howl of letting it be known? Bishop, she does the same for you. Same, or basically the same. She talks about your accomplishments and etc. So your wisdom goes up. Bring in the bears. I've got wisdom and honor. Yep. That's every guy's a success on this Boom. one. Boom. Congratulations. It's well deserved. Yes. <laughs> you did such a good there job. Go. <laughs> so say the spirits. So, so. <laughs> so now it's a permanent and all the temp go away. All right, sweet. Four wisdom now. Nice. nice. I got to two. Uh, where I'm at two, two. <laughs> nice. nice. <laughs> I have no glory or honor, though. <laughs> Five glory. Wow. <laughs> Three Five honor, honor and two wisdom. <laughs> I think you got to bring your honor up and that your honor and your wisdom up, and then you can rank up. Yep, I got I got two temp left in honor, and I got three temp left in glory. Better get some. It's based on your glory filled honor. Oh, okay. My, so your Oscar's like for when you can rank. When you can go up. to the, yeah. like, the next rank. Oh, like, yeah. okay. Rank two. Like, for me, I needed uh, one wisdom, two honor, and, like, four glory so to rank, you're rank third, up to right? second. I am a third. So you need <clears throat> one glory and a total of five wisdom. Ah, okay. What do you? What do I need as a philodox? As a philodox, you need one glory, four honor, one wisdom. Oh, shit. I can do that. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I did not know that. Nice. Okay. Oh, can you rank up to today? Maybe, but I mean, well, I can, but I don't know if I'll mm, if you'll do it. Talk to anyone here about it mm-hmm. specifically. That's fair. fair enough. So, as you see, bloody snow with her. her bloody cat. snow. I remember bloody snow. Yes. Nice. All right, Cora, kind of pumps herself up. All right. Um. As you two are watching Cora like talk herself <laughs> up. <like, laughs> you can do this. Cora, We're gonna get this, this time. Two marks? Okay. We're gonna do this. Yeah. Okay. She's gonna rank up. Or she's gonna try. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, two hearts. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Bloody Snow, could I have a moment of your time? Uh, sure, sure. What's up, Cora? Um, we talked uh, a couple days ago about my ranking up, and I was wanting to try again. And okay, was... as she looks, her face instantly turns to grave, and oh crap! <laughs> and you guys see it from. The several yards away <laughs> you're Ooh. from. Ooh. As she goes. I thought, I'm, you know, since we had that heart to heart. Yes. I know. Then we will test you. And we will test your conviction. Cora, you will shift to Krinos. Activate any gifts you want. Tell me when you are ready. And I will activate any gifts I want. You will have to hit me and damage me. That is your task. And you must survive. While I attack. Oh god! <laughs> As Bloody Snow shifts into Krinos. Okay. <laughs> As you see it shift. around, she goes, I will grab an Athro and possibly an Elder, for there are not oh many god. get here of equal rank. <laughs> 
I do not wish to frenzy Whoa. and end you in your passage. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wish you to do that either. Very honorable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot, as you just this. as you, you you hear several of the bonars, their conversation <laughs> stopped at that moment. <laughs> oh, it's not like I didn't challenge her. <laughs> Yeah, and that's it. You have to hit her okay. and do damage. Only All right. one point of damage. <laughs> but Pat, uh, damage, damage. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> as you see, bloody yeah. snow grab. As you see the circle expanding. As you see this black fury going back, back. <laughs> Give them room. Okay. Uh, snow. Get and to us, please. <laughs> As you see her in full Krinos already as she takes a deep breath. Alright. <laughs> as you see her dive her feet into the ground and you see the earth lifting up through it as you see stony crags busting out over her skin like armor as her skin gets thicker and her fur patchier okay. as she looks even more monstrous like snow on a mountaintop. <laughs> We're gonna do this. Okay. I'm giving me popcorn here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all, all of Cora's rank of things are making old Kyle be like, maybe I don't want to rank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <crazy. laughs> when did we step into an anime? <laughs> oh lord. Okay. R- oh, razor claws and resist pain. Yep, those are. Okay. Happening. <laughs> I figured. Alright. What was the difficulty on this roll? Uh, the troll skin, troll skin, troll skin. There we are. Have we seen the moon? <laughs> yes, you have. <laughs> it's crescent, so you get two up to your max. Oh, good. That's my max. <laughs> oh, wait. Up to my max? Dang. Up to your max. Dang it, so I don't get any because I'm already at max. Uh, eight. That's oh, yeah, then you're. Eight out of five. <laughs> Six, seven, so. Alright, that's a crazy nice look. Nope. Shit. <laughs> No. <laughs> it's too high to remember the number. <laughs> <laughs> you you got this. As she spends the point of her power, as you see her, her reflex, her twitch just. <sighs> Alrighty. Okay. Um, I swear to God, I will that. end you if you do not roll well. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> She's gonna spend the point of. Well, she doesn't need to do that. She doesn't need to. <laughs> you, see her, you see her spend a point of rage, and she starts scratching her claws onto the ground, too, as you see them getting fine-tuned to a razor point. Same as girl. As she, she looks at you and goes, Cora, I need you to listen very carefully. Tell me when you are ready, for this last gift could send me into a frenzy, and I do not wish it if I have to. I cannot, I have to make sure that I don't allow myself to. Do you understand? I understand. Good. As she gives that horrible growl. Okay. And then what does that cost? I need to roll that. Okay. Oh, it doesn't cost anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, there. No? Never mind. Rage, our ruin takes a full turn. Trip and falls. All claw attacks do two additional dice damage and are made up one time. Okay. Two additional dice. That's good. Yep. Yes. I, I, I will need it so bad. Because <laughs> that's four, eight, nine, ten. Oh, wait, shit. Um, what is that? That's dex brawl. That's four, seven, so nine. Oof. Probably nothing compared to what she has. Jesus. All right, do I have anything? Am I allowed to use a fetish? She said anything. Anything? Nix's bangle. <sighs> oh, you mean trying stealth? Um, if she gets too close. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, you have to activate that with a gnosis roll. Okay. Which means you cannot use rage in the same turn. Ah, uh, sh- okay. Well, we'll try and, you know, balance it out. Um. Well, do the right thing. <laughs> what happens if she frenzies during this? Is that okay? That's or why that... she. Yeah. That's why she no, got oh, me. You frenzy. Oh, yeah. you frenzy. If Cora, if Cora frenzies. No. 
That's not okay. No, I if she frenzy. Dance. No, once okay. once the frenzy happens, that's right. Then you're done. It's done. Okay. Right. Okay. All right. And one last thing, just to check. <laughs> so many things. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Oh, that's permanent. Okay. This is what strong werewolves are like. This is what strong werewolves are like. This is what a rank three is like. This is what I want to be like. Oh, <laughs> I want to be like this. Ah, <sighs> okay. All right, and then get one d10 ready because we're going to have to roll for initiative, which is dexterity plus wits plus whatever you roll. Oh, dex. So that's four. No, 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 no. Oh. no. It's your dex and wits added together already. That's your base. Okay. Score. And then you add the, whatever the d10 rolls to that score total. Okay. So. So for her, that's a base of a million. Oh god. Twenty-eight. <laughs> what did you roll, Cora? Ten. <laughs> Total. Total. Right. So, I don't go first. I dodge first. <laughs> okay. Oh, as you see, you, are you ready then? Um. Razor Claws is active. Resist Pain is active. Yep. Um, I have Nix's Bangle in the back of my mind. Uh, if I need it, I've got a pistol and a knife if I, if I so choose, which, I don't know. Um, Wait, Two Hearts is packing? Two Hearts is packing. Oh, so <laughs> as you see, you see steam, you see smoke starting okay, to rise <laughs> from uh, Bloody Snow's uh, fingertips. Okay, Krinos form. As you see her um, claws turn to silver. Oh, I'm shit. ready. <laughs> Good. I'm ready. Ah, she God. rushes. <laughs> Did she frenzy? No. Perfect. Good. She's just rushing and in control. Her eyes blazing. Okay, dodge, claw, claw. That's two. <laughs> That's a lot of dice. <laughs> <laughs> That's a scary amount of sounding dice right yeah. So long as she does an insta-killer, I think it's okay. Right. <laughs> All right. You roll your dodge, Cor. Um, what was dodge again? Uh, Dex athletics. Dex athletics. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> Don't forget your crown stat, yeah. Um, one, two, three, seven. Four. So that drops you down to three. Mm-hmm. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you say? Yeah, I do. <laughs> <coughs> Seven rollover would have been kind of shitty. <laughs> but wait, there's more. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there's so much more. Okay. Fairly certain I'm not in any sort of bruised, hurt, or injured right now. You are not. Because I've been out of that for ages. Five ag, no soak. That's X. Uh, the star. star. Oh, Christ. Because her claws are silver. Um, you don't even get to soak as they just rake through you. As she goes, dodging is not a good way of hitting me, Cora. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm just, just going to kind of go to Gar's low. I think she's going to get another scar here. <laughs> as you step back, you just see, you see searing like, Charred flesh. Ugh. Have we ever been hurt with silver? I think you have. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, in the when they taught us what pain was. Yeah, uh, <laughs> we have. We uh, you got shot by a Pentex. Guy, yeah, we got remember? shot by a Pentex. I don't know if I did. Okay. No, you didn't. So you okay. just see smoke and like charred f- flesh. I think this skin. is the most egregious one that I've seen. Ooh. Silver one that I've seen. Yeah, uh-huh. this is Probably. terrifying. Oh, except B with her face. I think this is worse. Yeah. Okay. Mm. It's on her whole body. As her crimson eyes look at you, what are you gonna do, Cora? Gonna claw and claw. <laughs> That's what I gotta do. Okay. So yeah. Um, Snow is going to then use her brawl to simply block your move. You can do that. Uh, yes. You can use, but only for like hand to hand. You can't do that for like bullets or right, blades. Right. Right. <laughs> Right, but, I didn't know you could do that. Yep, yeah, so. Huh. Diff six? Yep. Or diff five, because you have razor claws. Oh, bitchin'. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
Cool. So you get two roll over. Nice. Almost as many as she did. And two <laughs> rolls, 15 dice. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus two, plus two. And you just hear some of the bone, you hear some bone arms behind you going, hey. that get <laughs> is toying with her. <laughs> and this is still diff five? It's diff six. Diff six. Much. Four. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice. As your claws just scrape against earth, as you get this kind of like muddy smell, as you see snow kind of smile. I'm gonna claw again. Okay. Spending rages. Yeah, it's a double claw. It is a double claw. So she loses one die to her dodge. And her block, I guess. <clears throat> would you like to spend willpower to add an automatic success to your roll? Heck yeah, I would. I didn't know you could do that. Yes, Bam. you can. For certain, for attack rolls. All like right. Yeah. You definitely said we don't. We didn't know we could do that like four times. Yes, you have. I told you. I think five or six games. Six. Okay, that is two rollover. Two, two. <laughs> Plus eight. Uh, yeah, that's it. Wait, how many did she get? If it's more than eight, then I'm not gonna roll. Why was it not? Why? You should have be able to roll way more than eight. Oh wait, eight. Never mind. <laughs> eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. If it's more than twelve, then. Eight. Five. Ah! <laughs> so next round what are you gonna do Cora um don't forget you can stunt to try and add dice to your attack roll we did discuss that yes we did and I have to come up with a good idea for that um I think what she's gonna do is Dodge the an, the the coming attack, mm-hmm. and try so you guys are going pretty close. So I'll just tell you what she's doing. Right. She's digging in and she's going in for a bite now. Okay. And then when she after she bites, you see her getting her claws ready, not for this round, but next. Okay. Um, is and there clear tells. is there a way I can for my dodge, I can jump over her since she's she's crouched down, right? Mm-hmm. Um, can I jump over her and? Pull my gun. Well, no, never mind. I'm not going to do that because <laughs> well, because we're in the middle of a step, right? And that would be bad, right? Um, well, I could try and dodge the attack by jumping over her and breaking my claws down her back. Yep. Wait, I have a question. How this much? is in this is in the Umbra, right? Yeah. Also, don't forget you gained a point of rage Ooh, for combat sweet. and a point of rage for damage. Yes. How did her gun Bitch. get in the Umbra? She, she bound it. Oh, okay. I wasn't trying to, like, you know, give you a disadvantage. No, anymore. it's all She's right. like, wait, we're in the Umbra. Why, why does she have a gun? No, it's all good. Um, you gotta have a gun. <laughs> it's the Umbra. Man. You have to have a gun in the Umbra. <laughs> you bitch this <laughs> So, yeah, so I would like to, yeah, kind of do, like, try and jump over her as a dodge and then rake okay. my... How many claw attacks? Two. You can spend up to three, or you can spend up to three points of rage for a total of four actions. So that's dodge, claw, claw. You know what? I'll spend, I'll do three. So three claw tags. Okay. For that. Sounds good. Uh, She's going in for the bite first. You're, mm. you're going You're going for that dice spread right there pretty much. Yeah, and the dodge, what? Fuck, what was dodge again? I can't remember. Dex Athletics. Dex Athletics. Thank you. Two, three. One, two, three. Oh, are you? No, it's dip five, isn't it? For yeah. a dodge, now it's six. Oh. <clears throat> no, I've got two. Do you want to mulligan that at all? Yes, I do. And I'm going to put these in time out. Do you want to use mine? Sure. I only have nine. Or eleven. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is just my dodge. Better-ish. Three. 
Three. Yeah. So she got four roll over. You get to soak now. Uh, and that's stamina? Yeah. That is stamina. Five, six, seven. Six, six. Two. So that soak two. Yep. Mm-hmm. I'm about to frenzy. Oh, God. If you live. Wait. Soak one. Oh. It is Agno. Completely surprised by that. Um, <laughs> more dice optimistic. means more ones. Well, not for Keegan, apparently. Usually. <laughs> uh, can she roll the heal also? No, because it's ag. Oh, that's right. That's it's right. all ag. Oof. It's just... it's so now so you may yeah. attempt to... Three claw. So she's not dodging, so that's all roll over. Four. She's just wrong with soak. Right. And two more battle axe. Jeez, nice. Five, six, seven... Plus two. Right? Or is that... Yeah. Oh, that's two additional damage. That's a death. Yeah. So. I love your dice. <laughs> Six? It's all rollover. Yeah. You need to borrow some dice? <laughs> no. No? Yeah, I'm, so, I'm excited for you. Wait, right, right? So that's strength. So One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plus, plus two, two. Plus two. Two. Plus six. Plus six. Yeah, One, two, pretty three, sure you need dice. <laughs> four, five, six. Thank you. Uh, can I split my roll? Because my hands are small. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was going to say do it in that so yeah. they don't get mixed up. And then keep your successes uh, separate. Let's do it that way. That works. And three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. She had a soak of nine. Oh! 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 <laughs> Dirt flying everywhere as you get just close enough. As you just hear going, close, Cora, close. Oh, no. <laughs> so mad. <laughs> you got two more. So you got two more. Oh, I do. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> she's not dodging. Remember. Yeah. Dodge. It's all soak. She okay. Need to dodge. Quite <laughs> she doesn't. Oh, oh, oh three. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six again. Cool. So, so six. same dice. Yes, because it. I have. It's five now because I have um, razor claws. So five plus oh, okay. two plus two plus six. No, that was six. So plus eight. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Same deal. Yeah, because like I can't like yeah. <laughs> there's like no no rolling at all in that. That's fair. Mm. Don't, don't worry, you got more. Count on the second half. Mm. Uh, that re-roll that. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nine. Nine again. One more. One more. Fingers crossed. <clears throat> oh, and you want to spend a willpower, yes? So don't forget on this next attack roll to add a automatic success. Oh, right. Thank you. I would re-roll that yeah, one. Yeah, re-roll that yeah. one. And you may want to ask someone for a mulligan. <laughs> Already? <laughs> I mean, Can I have this a might be one of her lowest soak rolls of the entire combat. Uh, you can have my mulligan. Okay. But I do truly believe we should save one mulligan for if you do not make your frenzy roll. Yeah. <laughs> yeah right. That's fair, because she only got six now, on the soak. Now, wait a second. There's precedent of Riley using my mulligan <laughs> roll when I was in the <laughs> So I say I use Riley's mulligan. There you go. All right. So there's that. There's three there. So that's and minus then... three from your previous pool. <clears throat> So what were you rolling last oh, time? Oh, yeah. We, you... I was rolling damage now, right? Yeah, yeah. 
It's the same as last time minus three. So I don't know how. What, oh, how right, yeah. Right. Last time minus three. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Now. Okay. Just a little bit of multiple. Like I got confused. <laughs> um. Six. Oof. No, don't no, that's say not oof. six. Is it? One, oh, wait, no. It's One, seven. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Woo! You did damage. <laughs> yes! <laughs> High five! Yes! As your claws scrape just deep enough, as they cut in. Oh, right. I should have been spending more rage. Oops. <laughs> yes! Oh, <laughs> well, no, because she has to burn off rage because every turn she gains a point of rage with that gift of silver oh, claws. Oh, that's awesome. And oh, if it goes above her permanent rage, she frenzies. Oh. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shoot. As she throws her hands back as you see the smoke stopping, and the earth just breaks away in like a single clot. Cora roars at the top of her <laughs> lungs. She's so excited. <laughs> as snow steps to you in um, her crinus form, as she digs her fingers into her wounds, and draws the fe- get a Fenris symbol upon your forehead and goes, <laughs> Congratulations, Fostern. Nice! Yeah! Nice! <laughs> <laughs> Except in a deeper Krynos voice and not <laughs> my actual voice. Now, now you know why Brennan was just straight up laughing when I told him <laughs> what your rank was. Rank up challenge is going to be. Nice. Congratulations. <laughs> you are of one mind. As you were supposed to be. When you're in combat, it's not about fearing for your life. It's about taking down your opponent. That is why you are Fenrir. As you just see everyone like. Standing back. <laughs> Silence. Deep breath. Guys, the fallen just goes, Woo! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Follow your convictions, Cora. They won't lead you astray. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, buddy Snow. It was an honor to fight for her. It was an honor to teach you. I'm so happy. <laughs> Sorry. I'm so happy, she whispers. <laughs> <laughs> As Snow shifts back down to her homage form and walks away. It seems completely un- unfazed by the, the claw marks. I, I wouldn't expect her to be. <laughs> it was one point of damage. <laughs> As you see someone going, bring a third. <laughs> As oh, well, I'll heal. I'll heal. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're um, No, we'll help. We'll help. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I have resist pain on. I don't realize. Yeah, that is I'm just bleeding sick. out. Uh, two oh. hearts. You want to get that checked out. <laughs> All mother's touch. Oh. So you, uh, you feel like you take your water skin and you place it upon your hand to... Can I receiving. opt to keep the scar? Uh, or, well, you, know, you won't scar. You won't scar no. anyway. All right. Intelligence, empathy? Uh, yes. Difficulty, her permanent rage. Which is oh, sorry. Five. <laughs> Perfect. It's five. <laughs> Kyle, maybe I don't want to be a fox. <laughs> you like a lot of work. You're not part of the Get a Fenris, though, so That's I mean. true. It could be different. It could yeah. be, hey, play this game of chess. <laughs> <laughs> five successes. Five successes? Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, you heal my whole being. It's because you are my whole being. Oh, <laughs> oh that's so sweet. You brought the pack. <laughs> Gu- and you get a big hug right yeah. after. <laughs> Guards the low to two hearts. Close your eyes. What do you see? I see nothing. That's what I am without you. <laughs> get on my pack. Get on my pack. <laughs> <laughs> She just face palms, <laughs> guys to fall, and just... <laughs> As you hear Knight, Knight's eyes going, were those your friends? Oh, yeah, Knight's eye. It's great to see you again. How are you? Good. We just watched 
a rather impressive fight. <laughs> yeah, Night Side, this is two hearts. Oh, yeah, I, I shift back down to human form. It's a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you. And this is Guards the Low. It's a the pleasure to meet show. you. This is, uh, re- remember we- Night Side from last night. Oh, yeah, yeah we that's met up right. with them. That's yeah. right. Oh, from tonight earlier. It was a little. Oh, tonight earlier, yes. Yeah, it was a little drunker then. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which is where we should go now. <laughs> we should go back to that. <laughs> Two Hearts wants to celebrate. We need to celebrate. So, so Nightside, where's the rest of the game? Uh, they're off doing some uh, some of the games at the Bonars. Nice. Is is uh, is House for the Fallen there? Uh, no, she's or she is. She is. Okay. Okay. Cool. 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 He has a crush on. Yes. Yeah, House for the Fallen. Yeah. <laughs> out of character, out of character. <laughs> just that I'm one here, judge yeah. of doom just like <laughs> looking behind a tree. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's kind of like. No, no, he just, just comes. His glaive. <laughs> no, they have special daggers. Oh, well, yeah. okay. When do you get a glaive? What was that? Uh, you earn one. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's completely subjective. Okay. But cool. you don't just automatically get a glaive. That's <laughs> my next goal. It'll be a while. They don't, don't you have great to, weapons. Don't you have to know the right of fetishes to make a glaive? To make one, yes. Okay. But to, to one? receive one, because many glaives have been passed down through the generations. Oh, mm. okay. Because I want to make one. I'm pretty sure it's really freaking tough. <laughs> As you hear, Worm Herder. That was really impressive, Cora. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Worm Herder. Whoa. You're tall. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> this is this is Worm Herder. Uh, he was with us uh, for the past couple of days. I'm oh, pretty observant. Uh, Arun, I take it. No offense. <laughs> uh, more, uh, third, Chal oh, Gaia. Uh, me as well. Uh, third, Uktena. Uh, guides the Fallen. Nice to meet you, Worm Herder. As you see the big ram horns. Oh. Oh, okay. It's nice to meet you, Worm Herder. Likewise. And um, also wearing the umbra. He's also got (laughs) giant wings. Oh, yeah, he's 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 a big guy. (laughs) It's pretty cool though. The wings are his toe. Oh, okay. I'm gonna. Snow gave you quite a show. She's amazing. (sighs) Now you see why I don't try and challenge her. No, well, I oh, didn't. Why I'm surprised Heather is able to keep up. <laughs> See, I didn't. I didn't intend to challenge her. I just wanted to rank up, and I did. <laughs> and she gave you a challenge worthy of a Cleo. More than worthy of a Cleo, I'd say. She's amazing. <laughs> no, you're amazing. She has fostered. <laughs> she has turned her body into a weapon. She really has. It's. Quite impressive. I haven't seen her go all out like that in some time, too. Well, I'm honored that she 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 even allowed me to fight her fight her at all. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just be careful. Don't let that go to your head. No, 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 no. Honored, humbly, humbled, and honored, and she's wow. Well, you certainly made a name for yourself in this set now, too. <laughs> you you left a lot of guards I speechless. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm speechless, too. <laughs> you seem Very excited. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, that doesn't mean I'm saying anything, Speech, though. Speechful. <laughs> Speech. <laughs> um, rambly, but not saying anything, really. <laughs> She's just overcome with joy and excitement yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and starstruck still. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think we need to celebrate. There's lots of games. Well, as you hear, Malcolm! As he turns and you see a look of just surprise before he gets a control of himself. himself. Judith, I didn't expect what? You didn't expect the endless questions to show up? Nice to meet you. I'm Judith. Judith, endless question. Nice to meet you, Judith. Oh, nice. To, guys, the following. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Kyle guards the low. Nice Too to hard. meet you. So, what's all this? As he goes, nothing. As he kind of mulls it over in his mouth, uh, nothing at all. Endless questions. She goes. So, I have a request, actually, especially since I've seen how capable you are. 
Uh-oh. Oh. I, I look up at, at Malcolm. I'm... As he nods. Oh, yeah? She goes, my pack is up north in Canada. They're uh, dealing with the tar sands to stop some of that mm. coming down. So, but I got some word down because I had to, you know, I had, we got some information. I wanted to get a young pack there to maybe get some, grab some glory. Mm. There's a, uh, there's a f- powerful water spirit in danger mm. in Kansas. Um, it's near a place called Wesley Farms. It's, uh, the latest subsidiary of Pentex. Mm. They've been overly taxing the land and actively harming the water spirit. In just a few generations, that land's not going to be able to produce food anymore. Mm. So we were hoping someone could do something about it. Even if it's just temporary. I think that sounds like a good job for us. I think that, that we could probably handle it. We've dealt with Pentex before. Good, good. And if you guys don't mind me tagging along with you longer. You're more than welcome to come yeah, with us. Of course. Good, good, good. I think it'll be good for your friend, the overly mopey one. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Insert meme here. <laughs> <laughs> Get, getting around and, and out of her head, I think, would be Didn't really good. Didn't you just meet us? Yeah. Have you already met? She's got a reputation as you hear my own. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Cora just buzzed up laughing because, yep. Yep. Somewhere somewhere in the gathering, you just see Pillar of Questions go. <laughs> 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 the overly mopey one, yes. I think it'll, it'll do her some good to get out of her own head. Yeah. And work on some. and have some work. Speaking of missing members, where's Fury song? I haven't seen her ever since we got here. She was so totally smashed. Uh, oh, yeah? Oh my wow. god. <laughs> She's probably sleeping it off right now, huh? More than likely. Wow, even through all this commotion we've been making. Like, she... Wow. Um, there was this Fianna dude, and he had a flask, and Whoa. it was over from there. Like, it was... Oh, wow. She... She, <laughs> she uh, I had to babysit a bit. <laughs> she doing okay, though? Uh, yeah, no. She's over there talking to some of the galliards. Uh, uh, okay. She's talking to her own tribe. Oh, mm, oh okay. Nice. Hey, yeah. Speaking of which, I would like to get into some trouble with that particular tribe. <laughs> uh, you enjoy, I think. It'll Roger, be... shall we reminisce more about Crimson Shame? As Roger goes, yeah, hell yeah. I think a little something we don't know about, but that's the best we say out of it. Mm. Crimson Shame is the one that died. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, so... <clears throat> It was nice meeting you, Wormer. Do what you need to do. Likewise. Likewise. Hope to see you soon. As you hear a younger guard going, I think that was a fire starter. Really? That one? They have a medicine with them? As you just hear this growl from Malcolm as he passes. So Jerks. What, so what's the deal as, with the Wormer? Is he like a celebrity? Or yeah, the fire starters fire seem to be real big. Oh, okay. Yeah, like we're just talking to them like normal people, and, our, and people are like, the fire starters, and <laughs> we we're like, know. we didn't <laughs> know. I certainly didn't know. No. And as the night's eye goes, they helped save this set during that Bane attack. They're the reason it didn't fall. Oh. In the middle of it, they're, uh, that one there, the Philodox, as you see, um, final scale talking to someone. He took the moon, or he was able to use his gifts to run during the battle to Boston. And get help from a Fianna set. That's why there's a couple Fianna here now, too. Oh. And reinforce the set. Mm. My little first brush with Garu Glory, I guess. Wow. And mm. as you hear someone, you hear an older uh, Bonar, probably in his 40s, talking, going, Let me tell you, there was one that I knew. He earned the title Final Days, but that's not what we knew him as. We knew him as the Endless Wanderer. <gasps> Interesting. We, uh, we met him. No, you have not met him. Oh. He's our sept leader. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So we're inter- like and we're, not we're both like shit about it. We're just gonna live. Okay, so this is a lot of character then. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. no, so then, then going. <gasps> yeah. yeah <laughs> I was going. <laughs> Regender. <laughs> and Regender the one that found me after my oh, first okay. turn. So I'll just stand so, here confused. What? Cora's got. Like, what? <laughs> Cora's kind of got like a really soft spot for Regender, and because oh, okay. like he found her, like it was, yeah. And so she's just like. What? <laughs> he wandered the earth. Let me tell you. 
He moved from step to step, doing his best to bring peace. I had heard that he even got a red talon and a glass walker to break bread over a deer and speak about kin. Wolf kin. He's not a miracle worker. <laughs> but he was able to do that. He was able to move through city to city. And I heard that he is a major reason that the Uktena and the glass walkers, or the Uktena and the children of Gaia, have such an increasingly amicable relationship. It seems he had opened up a sect to them that was once theirs to try and show solidarity. He moved, and <laughs> let me tell you, when he was with my pack back in the day, during our Alpha's right of renown to reach Adrian, he rushed in with him to help, and we cleared out an entire small hive, spiral hive together. Wow. Fifteen spirals against five Garu. Killed them all. That's amazing. Regender wanted to try something, but we weren't able to succeed. He tried to capture one. He wanted to drag it back to Iberus to see if it could be, re- if it could be redeemed in the rivers of molten silver. Wow. The spirit passed, and I tell you what. Also, he, we all know, knew him as the Endless Wanderer. Some of us thought he would gain a connection to Traveler, but. Apparently wasn't meant to be. As he saw the need to create unity, he he decided to settle down. He's in a sept now. I don't know which one. He he said it was a secret. But, or, I know the sept, but it is a secret. And he settled down. He became an elder. He's still gathering some glory. I hear he's close to being an elder. In fact, he has enough renown for it, but he doesn't want to leave his sept behind to attempt the challenge to reach the rank in case something were to happen. Reginder Final Days is one who always stood to fight. Also, his name apparently came to our right master back in the day. The right master said that he saw into Reginder's future and he would die when the final days were upon us and only then. And so I think that always gave him a wanton sense of abandon until he saw what the state of the world was. And now he knows he can die any day. Because these are our final nights, pups. You keep that in mind. This guy sounds cool. He's so he cool. cool. He is amazing. You guys know him? Yep. He's our sept leader. Oh. Mm. Oh. oh. We're from that sept. Oh. Wow. Hence, this we haven't really told him. you guys are badass. Wow. Regender's amazing. You know Regender? The, uh, Bonarch hops down. Brushes himself off. Yes, we do. Nice. Feasts upon marrow. Nice to meet you, Feasts upon marrow. Guards Two hearts. The low. Guards the low. I'm guides the fallen. Oh. I'm just meeting all kinds of celebrities tonight. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so how do you so how do you know Regender? Um, he aided me after my first change. That was always something that endless wander liked. <laughs> it was. He was. Very helpful in that. Our, yeah. yeah. Our pack was built in his set. Yes. Oh, very. We are, we are fun. Very nice. Yes. We can't wait to go home. <laughs> yeah, he's he is truly one of compassion. Once yeah. Once entered a burning home and saved several people. Almost friended the veil doing it. But he was young. <laughs> Didn't have the experience. Mm. But He'd always preach, and he always did say that man and Gaia could live in peace. They simply have to learn. I think all children of Gaia should aspire to be like him. It does sound like a good role model. I agree with you. And after the earlier portion of tonight, I guess not all humans are bad. No, not all humans are bad. Unfortunately, human society has ceased to be... Oh, what's... The word, I suppose, uh, human society has ceased to be sustainable. Mm. Yeah. It is unfortunate, to say the least, but it is the nature of things. Yeah. So we're trying to teach them to be better. It takes a long time. It's hard. Some tribes don't like to do it. 
ma'am, not to, not to harp on yours. <laughs> but the get tend to swipe first, ask later. I can't be mad at the truth. <laughs> Fair enough. So just little things like that, you know how it is. You mentioned that you were you were part of Final Days Pack. I was. That's so, so nice to me. It's a pleasure to meet someone who, who's known him for so long. I appreciate it. I do. <laughs> it's totally fine, though. I, I hold him in very high regard. He is, he is a good one, to say the very least. He always, always did what was best, he thought, for Gaia. Mm. He put up with us. <laughs> <laughs> Part of what makes a garu a garu, right? Yep, fair enough. <sighs> well, thank you for the stories. Of course. What brought you to separate parts of the world? Um, I needed to continue my adventuring, and uh, no offense, but Warrior Sept is it's too small for me. <laughs> I definitely prefer the larger city and trying to find the wild in these places. Your city... The wild's all around you. It doesn't just have to seep into the city, and people can leave it for that. But here, the park that the guard would keep clean, the little bits of kindness just off Wall Street, those are hard to find here, and they are things worth nurturing. And I can do a hell of a lot better doing working here. And Manless Wanderer thought he could do a hell of a lot better for the nation over there. And so we had to break ways and ask our totem to release us. I respect that. Sad as though it must have been. It was. It was. But we all have our duty. And we all have to stand up for Gaia. Yes. Our duty is to Gaia. <clears throat> that we can at least all agree on. <laughs> yes. B. <laughs> <laughs> She'd probably yeah. agree with that. Maybe not Garu, but Gaia. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah, our service is to Gaia. Mm. Not just Garu. There's, oh. like, there's like a light bulb above G- Guys the Fallen's head, and I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> I think I just learned something. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's your name, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, Core Two Hearts. I oh, no, 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 sure. no. Oh, we're from Warriors Bane. Thank um, you. He's not part <laughs> uh, of our pack, I'm though. I'm packless and totalless at this time, actually. Though I have come to know this pack, and I have even uh, consulted with their totem spirit. Ah, I see. Well, that is the first step. And it's good to have a family. It certainly is. It's better than being alone. Absolutely. It is better than being alone. <laughs> it is much better than being alone. As you see, Eyes of War... Stepping up. That was phenomenal. One of the, uh, from the other tribe from last session. Oh, one of the ones that we met. Yes. Oh, thank you. Uh, it's fi- nice to see you again. The final howl is a big tribe as well, or big pack as well. The fact that you got to go get up against bloody snow and walked away. I, uh, yeah. I have, <laughs> I have m- much respect for you, Foster. Oh. As she gives a bow. Oh. <laughs> I, I plan on attempting my right soon, but st- I'm still a Clea. <laughs> she was too. I was too, <laughs> just moments ago. <laughs> uh, no, but, the, don't worry. <laughs> but, I, but you're not anymore, so That's fair. proper respects. Though, I will make sure that you don't take yourself too seriously. And she gives a wink. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, I, it's nice I, to meet you. Olivia, Eyes of War. Uh, Bishop, Guys the Fallen. The Wandering Wings is my pack name. Huh. We met your other comp- mm-hmm. your other pack mates uh, earlier in the night, mm-hmm. yesterday, actually. Mm-hmm. Guards the Low. Guards the Low, oh, you're Guards part- the Low. Yes, yeah. he's part of our pack. Um, he's our friend. Yes, I, I hate repeating this, but I... Oh, I heard, I heard. <laughs> you don't have to repeat yourself. Thank you. It's yes. rather embarrassing, actually. <laughs> that, that's fine, that's fine. Oh. How are, how are you? Are you gonna attempt your your right tonight? Not tonight. No. no? I don't have the. I need a little bit more renown. Ah. Uh, 
I, I squandered it on a prank on a Garu that was entirely outside, <laughs> out of my league. Oh, shame. <laughs> Tell us about it. Well, <laughs> there were a Fianna who claimed that the Geta Fenris were only billies and that they didn't actually deserve to be in the British Isles. And, uh, well, I just simply spoke to a couple of thirges, uh, was able to ask for a fire spirit um, from a good safe distance. <laughs> I got the spot fire spirit to speak to me, and I asked them to please um, bless an item of mine. And it was just a little captured fire and a crystal. Um, then I stole a truck and filled it with chickens. Uh, and then I drove by some an imperial ground because they were polluting the air, and they were going to use this to pave over an area that was a historical district in the area. So I was able to steal the tar, and I put it on the chickens. Um... And then I drove, I let the, it drive towards his rather weaverish home. I left the pendant there that cracked, released the fire, and he had several burning chickens running through his house. <laughs> I don't know if that's that squandered. <laughs> I think that was uh, very well done in aid of Fenrir. You're a little... <laughs> Far past prank. <laughs> that's that's I almost think, homicide. I think it's hilarious. He was a hamid born. I was fairly certain he had master of fire. Garu saw it. Fairly certain. <laughs> Those are strong convictions. <laughs> he got out of it just fine, and as she just pulls down her shirt, and you just see this massive scar across her chest. Whoa. I was taught a lesson. <laughs> All in aid of Fenrir. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, sometimes I think I was born in Uisha. I don't know what that means. Out of character. You might not know what it means in character. Okay. What does that mean? Where are coyotes. Ah! Oh. Sounds like it. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Where's the rest of your pack? Uh, well, they're over there. We've got one over mm. yonder. So, we'll be able to... Well, they're having some games over there, and I believe that Sings of the Past is going to go for her right of uh, right tonight, actually. Oh, I'd love to see it. Another member of your pack? Yes, uh, mm. she found a Wendigo who she would love to see um, her rise. Mm. I'd love to see that. And I want to play some games and drink. We need to celebrate, yes. We need to celebrate. <laughs> it was great meeting you, Eyes of War. Likewise. So. So what kind of games are there here? Out of character. You see some doing like strange games with runes. Uh, others are playing a form of checkers. Okay. Others are engaged in riddle contests. Mm. Some are in wrestling contests. Wrestling contests. I could go for a wrestling contest. Let's go. Yeah, I'm more of a ring. Really <laughs> <laughs> but I'll preside over more wrestling contests. <laughs> Since you're about to wrestle, the two of you. <laughs> okay. I really enjoy races. You like races? Okay. Mm, uh, our first moot, do you remember? Oh, yeah, of course. That was so good. We, we raced and we had to go across this... Um, this, we had to climb up a cliff. We had to go across a, a, a really narrow bridge. It was super fun. I like races. <laughs> but we can wrestle. Okay, yeah, let's wrestle. Let's do it. Can I preside over there? Mm-hmm. Wrestling match? Perfect. Over wrestling. Okay. Sweet. I'll get my own dice this time. <laughs> so do we wrestle in any form, or do we just wrestle as hunts? That is up yeah. to the presider. It Same is. Apartment. He chooses form and conditions for victory. All right. Um, both of you are Hamid born. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You'll wrestle in lupus. The first one to show their throat loses. Oh, okay. It's a challenge. It's weird, but... <laughs> it's a twit. What a twist. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So, I'll switch in the lupus form and I'll... I'll twitch and growl to hint. Come at me. <laughs> Two, three. All right. And this is all um, grapple checks, right? 
Yes. Okay. So that would be strength and brawl. Um, enough. grapple is dex brawl. Um, for your lupus form. Okay, dex and brawl. So that gives other me... side of your. Well, I'm getting so I got mm. three for brawl, three for dex, and then I would get plus two from dexterity here. Bam. Ooh, we're even. We are. <laughs> Eight dice, huh? Yeah. Alrighty. Tell us when we can start. Are you both lupus now? Yeah. Yes. Okay, perfect. Fight. Shift down into lupus. <laughs> Alrighty. And I'll go for a grapple. I'll go for a... I too shall go for a grapple. Ha ha! <laughs> so what's the difficulty? Grapple. It should be on your sheet. Oh, okay. Bottom right. Bottom right. It is six. So... Five. Four. So you initiate the grapple, so you have control over it. Nice. So, on the next round, you both do strength. Your strength is to try and break out of it. Your strength is an attempt to do damage. Okay. So, let's see. I got strength. So, that's three plus one. Because I'm in lupus form, yeah? Four. And then, because I'm trying to break out. Mm-hmm. So... See if I do. Six, ten, seven, ten. Diff six? Yes. All successes. Four. Four. Okay. Tied. Tied. So you still have control of the grapple, but you weren't able to do any damage. Yeah. And you're trapped okay. underneath this. She's like leaning into you and under wolf, her fangs kind of like gently in your fur, kind of mm. holding you. Okay. Because I don't want to hurt you. Yeah, yeah we're 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 <laughs> harassing. We're, we're harassing. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna try again. Sounds good. Oh, oh one, two, three, a, four. I failed all of mine. You botched. I botched. botched. <laughs> so you do take four points of bashing damage if she gets a good. <laughs> oh, jeez. So bashing damage that is slash 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 slash. Okay. Oof. Now on this turn, you get to first roll stamina difficulty eight to see if it regenerate any of that. Okay. So stamina. Lupus form plus two. Oh yeah, because we're lupus. We, we're difficulty eight. That's why you chose this. <laughs> no. No. Okay. <laughs> Just thought it'd be fun and weird. <laughs> it is. Humble. Oh, I botched it again. Okay, you cannot regenerate for the rest of the scene. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> so you will take a minus two. Yes. Is that what that you're at? Mm-hmm. Uh, if you go back to your other page. Yes, minus yes. two. So you're at a minus two. Oh jeez. So that's a minus two to From my. Your um, grapple roll and your damage roll. Oh, but not your soak. Okay, I'm gonna to try to break free again. All right. I wanna break free. I wanna break free. Two fewer dice, though. Yep. Oh, two it's fewer just dice. A, yeah, two fewer yeah, dice. Just it. strength. Just strength. Okay. Oh, just strength. Oh, so then I only get one dice. Wait, no. Well, because you're lupus thing. Oh yeah. So lupus. So, so with that strength. One extra strength. One, minus two. Yeah. Because uh, you're in the control grapple, the grapple's for the initial attack, oh, starting okay. it, and then the rest is. Oh my goodness! You're kicking my ass. I am. Boom! Oh. Another three bashing. <laughs> so. And I am incapacitated. So you can spend either willpower to stay conscious, or you can give up. I give up. <laughs> so he shows his. <laughs> uh, Coral shift up and laugh. <laughs> the match is honorable. It's so good. And Cora has won. Alright. I'll switch so, back to Hornet form. Cora, you gain one honor. Nice. Woo! You lose nothing because you did the honorable surrender. Mm-hmm. You lose it if you are a stubborn son of a bitch. Oh, is that how it goes? Usually. <laughs> yeah, that's how I lost what honor ha- with what my first. What happens if you willpower it and then win? Then you get probably some glory on that. On okay. top of that, but... That's sick. So you have to, you know... But let's see, uh... Sometimes it might be worth the risk. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, and being incapacitated, I'm just just like. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Well, it's bashing yeah, damage, so I'm just like knocked out. Yeah, you're just kind of not having a good time. Yeah, right well, now. and if you hadn't botched the stamina, you would heal real quick. But yeah. Painted <laughs> in a just challenge course, so you got one glory and one honor. Bitch. Nice. Uh, is that on top of the winning honor? Or? That's not. That's, that's okay. the total. Gotcha. And because you over oversaw a just challenge, you gained one honor and one wisdom. Sick. Let me buy you a drink. 
<laughs> Gladly. Ow. Kick my ass. As, yeah, you yeah. wrapped up. I'll switch back to Hamid form. Just, ow! Wow. Man, no wonder you're uh, Froster now. Jeez. Yeah, Froster now. Um. <laughs> so, there are several challenges. What are you guys going to do? Race! <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, sure. Let's race. As you guys are running about, you bump into B. Hey! Race for the race. We're gonna race. You're racing too. Are we allowed to use gifts? I don't know. We'll find. Depends out. on what the right mass, uh, the race overseer says. Okay, let's go race. Let's okay. go race. As he goes, you will be allowed to use any gifts you want. The race is. In whatever form you deem fit, run across the frozen lake without losing control and without breaking through. Okay. Oh. I have no gifts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. Shift down to Lupus. I'm going to shift on over to Lupus. Uh-huh. And it's been one gnosis to activate speed of thought. Of course All you right, do. you activated my trap card. <laughs> <laughs> the frozen lake. <laughs> It was a very specific line in that. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to choose Lupus. Uh, All right. I'll choose Lupus as well. Okay. And Sam? Just like Lupus, Sam. Yeah. Better grip. <laughs> yep. And then more legs. <laughs> yep, so. Yeah. You guys are allowed to race. You will need to do, you will need to gain a grand total of 10 uh, successes on an extended roll for Dex Athletics. For you guys, it is difficulty six. For you, because you've activated speed of thought and you're moving too fast, it is difficulty eight. Three, four, five, athletics. Three. Mm. All right. Oh, has he said go yet? Uh, yeah, go. Yeah, I go. <laughs> Keep track of this. Oh. Ew. Nice, one success. <laughs> so, hang on. Oh, fair enough. You gotta write all this down. Yeah, I gotta put down names, so give me a sec. I don't like my dice anymore. I, I'm i sorry. She passed on her juju. <laughs> I'm so, sorry. I knew it was a bad four, idea. Four, I'll be one. One and, uh, guards are low. Hold one second. I think I rolled the wrong number of dice. Okay. What's your wolf dice? No, I, I rolled the right number. Three. So three? Successes. Yeah. All right. Next roll. Mm, I botched it. Oof. <laughs> did you botch or did you uh, fail? Did you have any successes? No. Oh, yeah. So you all of your uh, successes went away, so you're back down to zero. Oh, jeez. Guards low. Four, so seven, and th- three. Zero. Oh, zero. Okay. I see three fingers up. So oh, I. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, these, t- these dice are four. Four. Eight. All right. As B, you're kind of sliding around because your legs are just going too fast. <laughs> I can adjust my speed. I've been but, able to adjust my speed. Yes, before. but you're trying. <laughs> then, then you're not getting the benefits of the gift. I assumed you went full speed the first time. No, I would settle for slightly faster than everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so that she just wins. <laughs> okay, your next roll will go back to six because you are like going concentrate. Concentrate. <laughs> Concentrating. Alright. Oh come on guys. Oh, I'm so oh. sorry. Um uh, I my I failed because my one success gets canceled. Oof. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Look at this is just oh jeez. And car. Six. Oh, oh man, man. they shit out of it. <laughs> so six puts. Core's hyped. <laughs> Fair. So fourteen and three. So Godzilla, you are uh, firm second place <laughs> with your. Fuck. <laughs> but Cora was just like... <laughs> you just slid across. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. 
Pillar of questions and. Rose just hyped as fuck. She's so happy. the fallen. Mm. Take that roll. Uh, one success. Oh my gosh. You have so many dice. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Take them. Okay, you're almost there. Keegan, can you touch his dice? Cancel <laughs> <laughs> right. my bad you do. <laughs> Two, th- three successes. Uh, they, yeah. <laughs> they heard Keegan's name and they were like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> three. Uh-huh. Pillar of questions crosses the finish line as <laughs> third. Guides the fall and just like, mm. mm. <laughs> <laughs> it finally slides it back I'm across. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it was your first race. We're all very experienced. <laughs> <laughs> As that one Garu kind of returns, and she uh, the endless question. Oh, seems you found some more of your pack. Hi. Yes. Uh, that was an impressive fight. Thank you. I know. Uh, I know. Bloody Snow. She's no slouch. No, she's strong. Yeah. No. She's definitely a warrior. She didn't make it easy on you. Good. But she didn't go all out either. Good. (laughs) Uh, I I would hate to have to fight her going all out. Uh, Um, But I... I mean, you would be dead. uh, Yeah. Yeah. Uh, But I am happy that she she did not make it easy on me. That's... Uh, Oh, sorry. Judith, Mm -hmm. endless questions. Hey. Nice to meet you. Ah. Did they get mad because you wouldn't stop questioning them? Yeah. <laughs> here, here, sister. <laughs> <laughs> Questions all around. <laughs> I'm just saying, if the end of the world is coming like they say, I don't know why so many Gargo are against Metasporn. It'll help boost your numbers if you don't think there's going to be a generation after this one. You know, I agree with that statement. Yeah, I think it's mostly because it hurts like hell. I'm told. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kind of like, I don't care. Mm. Like, what does it matter, you know, if two Garu are in love, or at least down well, to fuck? You you lose a warrior in the process. DTF. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no. The mother dies every single time. Not every time, no. No? No, not that's every not time. true. Oh, I thought it was. No, just there are stories about, especially like, there's there are legends. Some do die. They all have to shift into their crimes form not to die, mm. which if they're in a public place, they can't do. But um, it is a walking, walking, breathing uh, litany violation too. So I get some of that since mm. they can't leave their crimes form until, uh, well, their seventh, sixth, seventh birthday. It's a long time. Oh, yeah. No, there's... But, uh, you know, like if, like she said, if two Garu are in love, why not? But I guess some some tribes think that way anyway. Mm. But, you know, but the others talk about how the deformities will make the Metis not great warriors, and it just depends on the deformity. Sure, some come out with missing arms, and I saw one with missing eyes once. So... I mean, with the power of smell. Yeah, There's exactly. ways around it. Exactly. But uh, your friends here said that they were willing to help my pack out. Yes. Me. We're going to be going to Kansas. Oh, cool. Mm. Why new, Kansas? There's a new Pentex subsidiary over there. Wesley Farms. Okay. They've been, uh, with uh, mm. everything going on, they're overtaxing the land, so that land could become... Dead unusable sooner rather than later, especially with how climate change is going. Mm. It'll burn away the crops, so to speak. Alright. I guess we gotta go fuck up some farmers. You don't <laughs> have to do anything. It was a request. One I'd be ha- I'd like for you to do, but if there are other tr- packs who are more enthusiastic about this, then I can gladly go to them. Oh, it's just... We tend to be very enthusiastic about stopping the worm. Yeah. Just Kansas. Just Kansas. Kansas is fine. Kansas is closer to home. Wherever it dwells, wherever it breeds. Mm-hmm. Kansas is closer to home, yes. It's no the Amazon. It's no the this Amazon. Is true. Which is what we did turn down. 
At least let Cora go to Kansas. <laughs> <laughs> let me go to Kansas, damn it. <laughs> We're going. <laughs> yeah, well, especially since, well, you know, with Bolsonaro elected in the Amazon, that war's heated up badly. Mm. And they're rolling back logging regulations like no one else's business. Mm. And they're, they're, uh, they're hurting hard, from what I heard. That's horrible. Even the warga ward method isn't working. We learned about that. I know we did. What is the word? Then? It's three packs who, three individual packs that answer to someone else, and then that per th- they have their own packs that oh. answer to someone all the way up to their okay. own things first. So it's like an actual army. Okay, gotcha. Wow. Golog. Wow. Yes. I mean, it's probably good that we we turned down the invitation, but. A lot of glory to be had. A lot of glory to be had, but also a lot of death to be had. Oh, and... yeah. I don't think we were ready for it. No. That's fair. Many Cleoth went. Some definitely have more battle scars than most of their age. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> that would, yeah. I'm gonna keep playing games. Yeah? <laughs> I'm gonna win something eventually. <laughs> I'm gonna wrestle again. We can do a riddle contest. Oh, oh. Okay. She sits down. Okay, sure. Will you officiate? Of course. So that is a um, intelligence enigmas roll. Ooh. I like riddles. Cora would be rolling three dice. <laughs> Good thing she's not doing this. <laughs> I got five dice. It is disc seven. Two successes. All right. And we're going to go to eight successes. Okay. Like so. Okay, so she's got one success. Two successes. She got three. Ooh, so now we're tied. Yes. Two successes. Three successes. Oh, jeez. He's pulling ahead. Six. She only needs one success to succeed. Three successes. Three successes. So you got nine, and she got ten. Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, That's terrible, Bishop. Well, those are some. Those definitely threw me for a curve there. Jeez. Oh. Wow. Pretty good. Wow. You're very good yourself. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> I try. <laughs> the challenge was honorable. Endless questions is the winner. Thank you. What about you, Cora? Nope. No? Nope. Oh, just challenge her. She can't turn you down. Alright. Are you challenging her, her in just in general? Cause what are you challenging? <laughs> well, if, if she challenges you in general, you get to choose. I get to choose. Whether it's game, craft, what are, physical. <laughs> what are you challenging me to? A riddle contest. A riddle contest? Fine. Mm-hmm. I'm waiting for every die of yours to come up to success and you just botch every die. Because <laughs> that would be my favorite thing. <laughs> as you just see. Uh, as you just see Cora just with the worst row. Finish my line. What is love? <laughs> and he's like, I don't know. Wrong! <laughs> Baby, don't hurt, hurt me! <laughs> Will so. you officiate? Of course. Cora's been winning too many things. <laughs> she needs to be knocked down a peg. <laughs> what? So, two or three? And you need to get to eight. Okay. One. <laughs> Three. Three. <laughs> oh, and if you botch, just so you know, all your successes go away. So I slid across the finishing line. <laughs> None. <laughs> oh wait, no, that was a four. I botched. <laughs> <laughs> 
And so Pillar of Questions wins handedly. <laughs> That's all right. Well done. The challenge was honorable, if not unfair. Pillar of Questions. I think Pillar of Questions needs more drinks before we do this again. <laughs> No, never. <laughs> that was fun. No, As you do notice, Cora has the Get a Fenris symbol painted on her forehead in blood. What'd you do? I won! <laughs> I am a foster now. Nice. I, I look around, I look for her bloody snow. Can I see bloody snow anywhere? Uh, you stand up and you do see her, like, a head above several people talking. Do you see her? Yeah. I had to fight her. Oh. I only had to get a little bit of damage, but I had to fight her, and she was freaking amazing. <laughs> You're very excited. <laughs> <laughs> you would have been too if you were there. Like, uh... Be oh, honest. True. <laughs> You're right, you I am. Have, you would have probably been like, that doesn't seem fair, silver claws, earth growing into the flesh to give her armor. It was amazing. It was a good fight. Spirit of the Fray also, because that adds 10 to your initiative. Oof. That's what that was. I'm like, how the fuck? How many dots? 28. <laughs> how did you get that many dots? <laughs> 28 that you chose. You could spend a point of noses to bring it up to add 20 instead of add 10. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, and she could have activated Thor's Might, which doubles her strength for X amount of turns that she rolled. For the number of turns she rolled. I appreciate mm-hmm. that she didn't go all out, like... Because that would have... Because she also has Fenris as a totem. She bumped mm. up her strength, so her homage strength is six. Nice. Whoa. <laughs> Due to spirits. Whoa. And so, yeah, I think it's I think it's Odin's strength. Sounds right. I should have been Ked of Fenris. <laughs> 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 I'm kidding. Or Might of Thor, that's right. Don't let Unicorn hit Spend one <laughs> Gnosis, one Rage, and roll Willpower difficulty eight. The Garu's strength doubles for one turn per success. Can only be used so once cool. per scene. <laughs> So that would be a 22 strength. That is so cool. Plus Razor Claws. That's a base damage of 24 dice, plus any rollover. Wow. Wow. That is so awesome. <laughs> I think the most I've ever gotten used was 15. <laughs> <laughs> and it was incredible. <laughs> I remember that. I'm oh, like, it's good, her, right? I forgot to give her specialties. Because if she had a specialty, she could have gotten 10s. 10 could have been two successes. Oh, jeez. Lord have mercy. I'm well, I want to wrestle bad. someone again. You're gonna win. Malcolm's like, would you like to wrestle me? <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right. Uh, mm, okay. I know who he is. Cool. Uh, what form? Uh, of course, uh, challenge master. Look at you, mm. you're challenge master for the night. Look at you. <laughs> this is this is my duty. <laughs> and I like doing it. We'll do Hamid this time. Sounds good. Okay, sounds good. I hope Simple. that I hope that's not unfair. You do know that I can regenerate in this form, yes. That's fine. That's why it's wrestling and not That's fair. Boxing. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. So it's a dex, uh, dex brawl first. Okay. And then whoever gets control gets the initial strength. Alrighty. What's the difficulty? Six. Uh, uh, one success. Mm. Uh, as he goes, as he goes, sorry. you're a good fighter, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, sorry. Geez. I'm sorry for touching your dice. This is kind of unhonorable. <laughs> and now it's just a straight strength roll. Yep. D6. I'm sorry for even touching your dice, Sig. I'm so sorry. Three successes. Nice, you got control of the grapple, so now you've got him in the grapple. Alright. Oh, you're a good fighter, too. <laughs> Thanks. As it's a strength roll again. Oh, as he kind of gr- spins around, grabs your 
arm kind of slams you down slightly. All right. <coughs> Strength check. You guys are tired. <laughs> All right, you got control again. That's when, uh, I guess, I'll pull him down and I'll basically kind of do like a cobra grasp on him now. Kind of like All right, wrapped so. around his... Wrapped and around he's going to swing his head back. Full strength, trying to just knock you in the face. So both of you, we both get a, a single stunt die. Okay. So just add one die to that. Three successes. Same. So you're both. So he hits you. You kind of lose grasp, but the grapple is indeterminate right now. Is mm-hmm. he's, he's kind of trying to spin around? And he's going to try and grab your leg and try and okay. roll you back. I'm going to try to. I'm going to try to whip around so I can whip my other leg, like, up onto his shoulder and then try to basically get his head in between my thighs. All right. Sounds good. So, uh, stunt dice with that? Yep. Okay. Single stunt dive for both of us. Okay. Two six. Su- oh, one success. Oh, two successes. As he finally, he kind of grabs the leg and you don't Ooh. get your, you don't get your leg quite up. Yeah. As it comes up and around, he kind of moves his shoulder and slams it down. Ooh. So he's gonna just kind of he's gonna actually pull up slightly, and then slam back down. Ooh, ow! Uh, Full body weight. Yeah. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. How are you gonna get out of it? Yeah, what are you gonna do? All two hundred and twenty pounds in. <laughs> oh Jesus! Okay. I mean, you're also a big dude. Not as big. Yeah, he's but he's a couple inches short. What are you gonna six, do? Six nine. So he's got my one leg, and, and he's no. So he's <coughs> like he's on his back, lying back like that, and so he actually pushes up with his legs, so he kind of like almost glute bridges up to get himself uh, a little momentum up, and then he slams back down. Oh, uh, okay. So he's pulling my leg really hard right yeah. now. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna try to twist myself out of the grapple, pretty much. Okay. And then try to. Okay, hold up. Twist myself out of the grapple, and while I'm twisting, I kind of hope to like catch like maybe his face with my feet. Okay. Or something. Kind of like. Him in the face. Yeah. <laughs> That's feeling less grapply. <laughs> A little bit. And more kicking in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Yeah, I know. It's not my night. So, four bashing. Oof. Oh. Oof. You feeling all right? <laughs> I still got it. There's no harm in surrendering now. Minus two dice because of the uh, the injury condition. Oh, yep. actually, roll roll stamina because it's a new scene. Okay. Diff eight. Cool. Two, two successes. So you heal one point of bashing. Okay. So you only get minus one now. Yep. So with that, he's gonna he's pulling the leg back and he's going to try and like pretzel your leg now over your like he's bringing it up and he's trying to pretzel it back and bending it behind you. Kind of like crisscross applesauce. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just higher on the body. How the heck am I supposed to get out of this? Jeez. I'm just going to try to pull my leg free. Okay. Zero successes. One. He did one bashing. Oh, jeez. It's okay to top out. I still got three boxes left. <laughs> I'm going to keep trying. All right, we're all standing there. Well, I guess first. technically two before you frenzy. One success. So that's fine. You heal one point of bashing. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't matter how many successes you get on the stamina roll. Okay. So we're gonna just try to break free again. All right. He's just gonna try and. No successes. One. <laughs> I feel like this is gonna be a long. <laughs> stamina, please. <laughs> I think 
is it reasonable if uh, this happens for another round where nothing happens? I just call it like it's clearly he's won, but like it's not ending. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying again. <laughs> I'm trying again. <laughs> Stupid dice. <laughs> oh, you gained a point of rage. Just see. So oh. Know. Because uh, you took damage. Well, I, it I, goes over your permanent. Okay. So you take some damage. Uh, two successes. All right, one one healed. I don't know. I already. Okay, I already did that. Oh, did you do that? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I already did that. Then you damaged me again. And then you right, rolled you another... Again. And then you did oh, it again. So okay. it, that's what he means by... Should I just... <laughs> boom! <laughs> ow! <laughs> Is he just seeing bruises on your... Like his lower back forming and then disappearing. <laughs> forming and disappearing. Mm. I really wish how I, I had an actual like good idea how my body was in relation to his. That's fair. Yeah. He's gonna come in and he's gonna try and just like am I laying him. am I like stomach down or am I back up? You're back up. Okay. Or okay. That's or, the I'm same sorry, thing. Sorry. You're stomach up. I'm stomach up. And he's so is he. Or okay. no, he's not anymore. He twisted your leg around you, so he's kind of pretzeled your right leg. So your right or your left leg is up, okay. and then it's him, so your knee is here, and your leg's like this, and he's now coming in with his elbow to go for the throat. So it's like this. Yeah. Much. Mm-hmm. So. Like here. Oh, okay. And then, like this. So he's doing that with one arm, oh. and then he's got the Ooh, other arm coming down for the. I'm not. Okay. Gonna, I'm not doing anything. The I'm not going to knock anything over. Okay, so oh no, it was the shake. I want oh, to. I want to try to swing gotcha, my my. Ball. I want to try to swing my body with my. You said it was my left leg, yeah. right? Then I want to do it with my right leg, and try to. Pretty much try to wrap it around his neck. Try okay. To, you know what I mean? Try yeah, to like yeah. swing myself out so of it. So get a stunt die for that. Yeah. So I can at least get me. Three? Yeah. Yeah, because I got the minus one. Oh, I don't want to use those dice. I'm so sorry. No, just, just, yeah. Okay, I'm going to use those. Oh, four? I'm not going to be able to... <laughs> like, yeah, like... But he can, he can limit the damage to one, and he can regenerate it. <laughs> no successes. So, four bashing. I am... Ugh. So, that, that one actually turns into a lethal. This one? Yep, because he uh, carries over. So, mm. one, two, three, four. Oh no, never mind. Yeah. I my apologies. So he gets you down. Oh, it's not my night. Jeez. Sometimes it happens. Bro. Oh, I guess. Good wrestle. Good wrestle. Challenge was honorable. Worm herder is the victor. No. Nadrin should know better. Word, word's challenge. gonna get passed around the moon. Hey, this guy's ass is easily <laughs> kicked. You should just challenge him. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. Come on, let's uh let's go communicate commune with some spirits. Sure. Let's go commune, yeah. Get you a drink later. <laughs> okay, I'll meet up with you guys later then. Nice. See you in a bit. What gifts do you know from uh, your spiritual side? Well, unfortunately, I don't know any gifts. I, I just recently yeah, turned... You have three gifts. Oh, I do? Oh. <laughs> well, I know eight crafts, ape crafts blessing. I can speak with the spirits, and I know how to jam weapons. Oh, that's a useful, that's a useful gift. So, I might be able to get a spirit here to help you out, mm. uh, if you're so interested. I, I am interested. Oh, no, good. Uh, it seems that with your pack, Mother's Touch is quite covered. Or De- your friends, as long as you're with them. Definitely. But we could teach you that gift. Okay. I know another one. Spirit Snare. You cast out a mystical net and you're able to entangle hostile spirits and confound them for a bit. And that way, instead of inflicting damage, the spirit's effective willpower is reduced for a bit of time, making it harder to deal with you and hit you. This is good for Banes, as well as some spirits that are a little, uh, what's, what's the word Roger uses, uh, extra. Then finally, the last one I could possibly, or the other one is uh, Sense Worm. It's a powerful gift. It allows you to smell worm taint. Now it's not a, not a detect evil sort of thing. It's a if someone's been around wormish things, mm. you get a smell for it. You smell the corruption, and that means you can trace it back to where it is, where, where it, wherever it is, and whenever it breeds, that, so to speak. That would come in handy actually for a mission we were requested to go upon. Oh, actually, there you go. So I would like to. Learn that. Alright. Yes. So, he can have it too. (laughs) 
He, he has spirit speech too, and you have that. What don't you have? So I can rub it in your face. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. no, I'm kidding. Basically, their gifts. I don't have their gifts. Um, but I can't teach you anything else. I'm neither Hamid nor uh, hmm. nor child guy. Well, I mean, it's either gonna be smell worm. Is that what it was called? Sense worm. Sense worm, or the spirit snare. Uh, hmm. There's other versions of this gift. Some I've learned to attune their nose to the weeper. Hmm. And uh, some to the wild to try and seek out their spirit, the spirits of the great rolling chaos. Hmm. I would say I would like to learn spirit snare, actually. Alright. We can do that. It's a good gift. Come with me. Let's go deeper into the to the cairn. As he's moving along with you, as a, he goes, follow this path. As you notice, the patch is blotchy with just tiny shimmers of light. As you start weaving in and through, so you get to a glade that it, there's no real version of this even in the physical world. Mm. As you see, kind of the ice looking pristine, almost like a tower bubbling up and creating a chandelier-like effect as the moonlight barely touches it and sends beams in every every direction. As he goes, all right. So. As he goes, this is a good place, usually. I just wanted to show it off. Oh. I think you would appreciate it. The guy actually got to go into the city. Oh, into the city in the physical? No. Follow me. Okay. As you get out, you see the city in the Umbra. Haven't seen it too much. The towers of spider silk moving in every which way. It's like a nest. Oh. You know how, like, those those crazy spider-like migrations in Australia? Yeah. Like that times a million. Oh, jeez. As you see spiders of metallic hues crawling whichever which direction. As you see spider or these glowing spirits moving, like, headlights and leaving strands of neon silk behind them. You see mutilated earth spirits calcified into stagnant forms of concrete down below your feet. Oh, this it's all within is... Durban. That's putting it lightly. It's the city. It's the weaver's den, but it's what we have to do. As he looks up and goes, tsk, 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 as you see a spider coming down, as he holds out a gnosis, this one's for free. Oh. It was unhonorable. I'm too high to challenge you to anything, really. Even if the matches are made fair to some degree, it's typically considered bad form. As the spider drinks from it, and the spider looks at you, the silk goes right around your throat, the spirit kind of crawls around wrapping you around as you feel its webs tightening around you you feel your bones cracking as the spider bites into you and everything's gone as you're on the ground breathing heavily and the gift is now in your mind three experience mm, okay spirit snare i can write that up in a little bit okay glad to help thank you wow that was ugh, that was weird ah yeah used to it some spirits are a little more forceful with their gifts than others. Oh my, that okay. <laughs> That's why it went too bad. Well, thank you very much. Mm-hmm. But yes, ah, take a good look at it. That's what it looks like in the Umbra. I assume that you've never been to a big city here in this this realm. I'm originally from farmland in Wisconsin. I've never seen a city like this, let alone something like this in the Umbra. Mm. And grows and infests as you see it trying to get into the land of the Cairn. Oh no, I saved this place. And that's good. This place was used as a tether, actually. It was able to draw on some of the weaverish energies here to bind away a great baiting spirit about a hundred, hundred so years ago. Hmm. A little more. Okay. Several Cairns where every tribe sacrificed one of, one of the legend rank. Hmm. And the creature, the great storm eater, was bound back in the American heartland until the days of the apocalypse when the Garu Nation is either fit to fight it or we die trying. But it's bound away and it's growing weaker. Starving. Just hopefully it'll starve enough by that time. We can only hope. Yes. Yes, we can. Well, shall we? Thank you again. Oh, yeah. No, come. It's always good to talk to a beverage. My, I always enjoy the spirit world, but, uh... Well, some of my pack are just a little fighty. As he puts his arm around you, and you start walking back into the cairn. The moon, 
begins to wrap up and everything starts to get back to normal for when you will leave next time. Thank you everyone for listening. This has been our episode of Werewolf the Apocalypse. Uh, like, subscribe, all that other good jazz if you especially made it this far. Uh, <laughs> but uh, thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.